Want to turn now to the southeast where residents are bracing for historic flooding as Tropical Storm Debbie moves through. Forecasters predict the system will drop unprecedented amounts of rain on Georgia and the Carolinas. This comes after the storm came ashore as a Category 1 hurricane in Florida yesterday. Our Lori Johnson is on this story. Tropical Storm Debbie is expected to dump record-setting amounts of rain along coastal regions of Florida up through North Carolina, anywhere between 20 and 30 inches. That's more than the previous high in 2018 from Tropical Storm Florence. The historic city of Charleston, one of several preparing for what could be historic flooding as millions of people along the southeast deal with the slow-moving storm. It may be that this is the most water we've seen for a long time, maybe, we don't know. So stay alert, stay tuned, and stay safe. Residents and businesses are fortifying their properties with sandbags, while police are barricading streets in vulnerable areas. South of Charleston, a tornado damaging property as continued threats of twisters throughout the region persist. In Savannah, the mayor issuing a curfew, saying the deluge could mean, quote, obliteration for parts of the city. This type of rain hovering over us, coming with the intensity that they tell us that it's coming, uh, it's going to catch a whole lot of people by surprise. Debbie made landfall along the Gulf Coast of Florida Monday as a Category 1 hurricane, packing sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. Storm surge and more than a foot of rain left streets underwater in places like Gainesville and Sarasota, where authorities declared flash flood emergencies. Tens of thousands of homes lost power. The Florida National Guard performed hundreds of high water rescues in flooded neighborhoods like this one saving an elderly man and his dog. The storm is blamed for at least five deaths, including a 13-year-old Florida boy killed inside a mobile home hit by a falling tree. The young man was asleep in his bedroom, and that's where the major impact was. Near Tampa, police say the driver of this truck lost control of his tractor trailer, and it plunged into the water below. Meanwhile, one boater is telling his survival story. It's a washing machine, basically, is what it is in the Gulf. Nathan Thomas and his friend were rescued off Florida's Gulf Coast in 20-foot waves. He said the storm came quicker than expected, and they lost the sail on their sailboat. I knew that if the Coast Guard didn't get us, we probably had less than a 50% chance of surviving. CBN's Operation Blessing is on the ground in Georgia and will begin making damage assessments of the hardest hit areas along the southeast coast. They are prepared to provide much needed relief to residents who will be struggling to deal with the damage after the storm moves through. Lori Johnson, CBN News. It's clear already the recovery will be long. Gordon? Yeah, the flooding is absolutely horrific. If you want to participate in a recovery effort, you can support Operation Blessing. It's our disaster relief fund. A lot of different ways you can give. You can call us, 1-800-700-7000. You can write to us at CBN Center, Virginia Beach, Virginia, 23463. Just put disaster relief fund on the memo line of a check. You can go to CBN.com. There's a way you can designate your gift on the giving page. Or you can text us, OBDR, to 71777. Be a part of it. Help those in need. When disasters strike, we want to strike back with love and compassion to let people know we love them, God loves them. You can be a part of it. Call us, 1-800-700-7000.